Hey guys, I'm LB, and we're going to check out Overused Map Name by R3 Dash. That is my first test chamber. Enjoy and nice. Wait, sorry, easy and nice. Enjoy. My next map will be better. Alright, so, constructive criticism time. First of all, don't call your map My First Test. There's so many My First Tests. Give it an original name. Uh, if you need some ideas, uh, Rectorox has an excellent guide about what not to call your map and how not to make bad puzzles. And all that stuff. So let's get started. Alright, so... What do we have here? This button does... that. Oh wow, and it just stays there. Lucky me. And already... Let's see... Yeah, so I could... Potentially get up there, if I was any good at airstraping. But, I have a feeling that's not what's intended, right? How would you get up there normally? Alright, well let's, let's ignore that for now. What's up there? What's the point of this- this long roundabout hallway? It's a lot of ex extra walking for nothing. Alright. For- for... mostly no reason. That killed me. <laughs> So, what's the purpose of putting that button way back around a long hallway with a turret? Because that mostly just annoys the player. It's a lot of walking, and then there's a turret. It doesn't really do much. Because turrets are really easy to take out. I see, what does this do? It puts a flip panel, alright. So that's how you get up here. Then... Then we do that. So, my issue with this... Is that you have this guy, right next to this... And it doesn't seem like we're ever gonna use this ball anywhere else at all. So, you might as well have just moved that button up to, to here where that flip panel was. Or even better, this, this whole area... Just doesn't seem... Like this- like that button over there... That- that leads through all this, this is basically just... A, uh... What's the word? A fetch quest. It's basically a fetch quest, it's not actually a puzzle. There's also what looks like an escape hatch over there. Guess we'll be using that later, because the exit's here. Also, why is my game lagging? I do not know. Hmm. So, I notice this is the only lighting element. Was there light in here? What- what is creating this light source? I have no idea where this light source is coming from, but... It looks like most of this area here is unlit. So what you can do to help with that is put light strips around. Light strips in the observation rooms are pretty much the only light sources in the- in the game. And you need to use them effectively to light up your tests so that people can actually see what they're doing. Like right now, it's so dark, it's really hard to see what that thing is. And, uh, yeah, it's also really bad for video. But yeah, mostly, people need to be able to see- need to be able to see what they're doing, so this... Okay, so... You see the signage here, right? We- we can't actually see the signage for it, because it's actually not there. When you- when you put the dropper nested up like that, the signage is not visible. So you need to have it at ceiling level, or at least cut out some gaps around here so that there's room for the signage to show up. Ideally, an antline would be good. You should only use the symbol signage if antlines look terrible or whatever. Also, this is another... mostly pointless puzzle, because you literally give us the cube we need... to eliminate the need for everything in this room. Looks like this is another little... secret path up to here. Well, not another, but it's- yeah. So then... Okay, so this actually makes sense as a puzzle. It's just a basic... Fizzler puzzle, if you remember to place the cube. So let's see. We place a portal here. And then we'll place the other one outside. Actually, we can just place it here. Take the cube already. That's at least a little bit of a puzzle right there. That's an easy puzzle. And then we're done. So yeah. Most of this map, 
was just walking around pushing buttons. It wasn't actually a puzzle. But that's okay, for a first- for a first test, it's better than some of the ones I've seen. But still, it needs a lot of work to be considered a good puzzle. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, and you can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video. And don't forget to give R3- some more constructive criticism of your own, because I obviously did not list everything. And R3- don't forget to check out Rectorox's guide that I will link in the description for you. Goodbye.